Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Starfield. As you can see, we are in a kill city right now, not Dazra, because we are taking a break from Shattered Space momentarily. Uh, that is because the November update came and two new free creations went up into the Creation Club. One of them is a new vehicle, so we will check that out. It is the Daymog. We'll set that to active. Uh, fire rate is 1.7. As opposed to 1.5, it's so a faster fire rate. Uh, the gun on top is supposed to be a rocket launcher. It does 150 damage as opposed to 36 damage. That might be due to our upgraded skills though. But this thing definitely has way more armor than the Rev-8. So, the Daymog is designed for high-speed planetary touring and exploring. A monocoque chassis protects human passengers, and the mounted rocket launcher provides defense capabilities. This is the Daymog. It has a rocket launcher. Hmm, let me do a quick save first. Oh, it seems to slow down everything. Oh, yeah. I will not aid you in this. Okay, so when you aim, it slows down time. At first, anyways, it doesn't seem to do it anymore. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is a free Creation Club download. You can download this for yourself if you want to play with it. Uh, we will go back to when not everyone's trying to kill us. Okay, and we have Ezekiel here with us today because he seems pretty cool and in the base game I never took him around as companion and I want to get Andreja out of my hair. So, we are rolling with him for a little bit. But the reason why we are in a kill city is for the second uh, free Creation Club download. And that is a quest that is supposed to be here. And... Let's see... It's called... The perfect recipe. You can find a storyteller at Sinclair's books in Aquila City. One tells of a promising chef who had his life derailed by the colony war. Now decades later, he ponders the road not taken. So Sinclair's book. Uh, that's the player house thing that we can get. So Sinclair's book's up there. <laughs> you are out of it. Right here. Yep. Could I get the digital copy of the things I buy here? No. What? Why not? I sell books. Physical books. Space is a premium on my ship. If I could download it to my slate, I could have a whole library. There are places you can go for that, ma'am. Just not my shop. Good day. Wait, can't we... We're done here. <laughs> Okay. My husband. I think he would have liked what I've done here. He so loved books. Read the book. Job gone wrong? Oh no, that's the that's the uh, bank thing. Never mind. Read the book. Near perfect recipe signed. Laughter is brightest where food is best, an old Irish proverb. How did I get my start? From a history book, believe it or not. The name's Barbio. The name Barbio is French for barbell, a carp-like fish. And those who wore the same name, Barbio, on their jackets were fishermen. But unlike my ancestors, I prefer my fish on dry land, cooked over a searing hot skillet. And so I decided to trade in my pole for a pan and my nets for a knife. I have since spent a lifetime chasing the perfect recipe, and in this book, you will find the fruits of that endeavor. Oh my god, I'm gonna butcher this. Ocean Barbu's Near Perfect Recipes is a kitchen book filled with a variety of dinner entrees popular with both laymen and master chefs alike. The inside of the book has the following handwritten inscription. To my friend Harpajan Vias, the only person in the settled systems who could lay claim to the perfect vindaloo. Okay, return to the book to its owner. Just gonna take a book from this bookstore and just return it. <laughs> Okay. 
I'm not paying for that. <laughs> Harb, I need you to come fix my faucet. It's been leaking for two days. Angry preacher. It's driving me nuts. All right, I'll be there as soon as I'm finished here. But it's leaking now. I need you to come now. Do you have cotton? Is I said I'd be there when I'm done. Whatever, Harb. If you're gonna get all pissy about it, I'll find someone else. Uh, let's keep the flashlight on. Harb. Oh, this goddamn machine. It's not usually this cranky. I bet in a past life it was a crankshaft. Or worse, <laughs> a screw. Uh. What do you have against screws? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> a good handyman never blames his tools. Hmm? But that doesn't stop him from berating them. <laughs> Judging by how you went off on that customer in your past life, you were a cactus. Hey, I may be prickly at times, but that last guy was too rude for True, me to be polite. Kind of dick. I bet he was once a screw. And then that screw got loose. Now, he just drives people nuts. <laughs> uh, but we are all capable of change. Maybe tomorrow he will be a bolt. Wait, hold on. I think I got it. Let me just tighten this bolt here and... Yeah. <laughs> Good as new. And my apologies to you for being so irritable. I should be charging you for my time. It's valuable. Well, so is mine. <laughs> but not everyone seems to think so. And that's why I get customers barking at me noon and night. Oh, I must sound so ungrateful. <laughs> I know I'm lucky to even have work. Let me stop with the complaining and offer you a drink instead. I have some coffee and tea at my workshop, if you'd like some. Coffee. Coffee it is. Uh, hope you like it black. I don't have any cream or sugar. What am I, a psychopath? Come, come this way. Apologies in advance for the mess. <laughs> I swear it was like that when I got here. Ooh. Harb Hajan's apartments. Welcome to my humble abode. Emphasis cool. on the humble. I don't have a bed, but I do have a kettle. Baby steps. Anyway, uh, one coffee coming right up. Here you are, courtesy of House Harbajan. It's the least I can do for being so cranky. You have the right to be cranky if that last customer was any indication. Ah, right. Him. <laughs> uh, to be fair, most of them are civil. Some are even my friends. But there are a few that really grind the gears. Oh, it's not that I don't enjoy being a handyman. It's just... I've been thinking about my life a lot lately, and whether I've made the right decisions. What if I went right instead of left, that sort of thing? Where, uh, be a chef. Where would I be now? Perfect recipe. Why not? Sometimes you have the benefit of doing both. Oh, so you're a time traveler? Yes. I hope you're the kind that sort of. gets to take your clothes. Anyway, I appreciate you coming here and listening to me vent. If you've got questions for me, I'll do my best to answer them. <laughs> Why haven't you made more of an effort to clean? <laughs> I've tried, but it's like trying to push a boulder uphill. Oh, uh, it's home hard. I just hard. don't have the energy to do it. <laughs> Do you really live here? Where do you sleep? On the couch. It's not great for my back, but it's pretty good for my wallet. I found something that might belong to you. Oh, that. I forgot I left it there. But if I'm being frank, I'd sooner just throw it in the trash. Why the trash? I think I'm missing something here. Uh, it's because of the history between us. Osean wrote that inscription Osean. as if she were my friend. In reality, we were more like rivals. 
You might read what she wrote and think it a kindness. But to me, it's petty. So I left it behind. But, like a bad habit, it keeps coming back to me. Are you sure Ocean meant it that way? Oh, I'm sure. She always loves to take little digs and act innocent when you question the motives. Normally, I would just laugh it off. I don't know why this time it hurts so much. It must be hard. I'm not gonna say this. This is not true. <laughs> it must be hard not to compare your life to hers. The thing is, I'd forgotten all about it. <laughs> and then I get this book, and I started wondering what if I made a mistake? I was 18 when the colony war started, with everyone off to fight. There was so much to do around here, and people needed help. Cooking fancy meals and becoming a chef just didn't matter anymore. But ever since I got that book, I've been wondering if I've made a mistake. And if so, maybe it's not too late. Maybe I can try and be a chef again. The war was a long time ago. Why did you never pick it up again? I wish I could tell you. I would come home from work exhausted and... The easiest thing to do was sit on my couch and... Relatable. ...eat chunks. At some point, that became my routine. It's funny, this place has a fairly big kitchen, and, and I'm using it to store my junk. You can try it out. Cook something for friends. That's a great idea. As long as they can be honest. Okay. I've made up my mind. I need to gather some friends and cook a meal. A vindaloo. If it's good and my skills haven't eroded, I'm going to pursue this. But to pull this off, I'm going to need some help. Uh, with the ingredients and the guests. I'd be willing to help. Thank you. That's the whole reason I'm here. We'll need three things. Vinegar and spices for the vindaloo, drinks, and meat. And as it happens, I know three people who can help us. They... Just happen to be customers of mine. Uh, why customers, not friends? Friends can try to spare your feelings. Customers tell you exactly what's on their mind. Sometimes with expletives. <laughs> Was becoming a chef your dream? It's hard to explain. Being a chef was a dream of mine, yes. But it was also a dream from 20 years ago. So much has changed since then. I'm not sure if it's regret, envy, or nostalgia that drives me now. But ever since I read that inscription, it's awoken something inside me. Maybe I simply want to answer that age-old question, what if? Hmm? What if I had trained to be a chef like Ocean? Where would I be now? Hmm. Who should I talk to for the drinks? Hmm. Typically, wine doesn't pair well with curry, but if we keep the spice subtle, I think it can work. Red wine is probably what we need. Back on Seoul, they used to make it with that before switching to vinegar. Talk to Anandita Devi. She's a food critic and grew up on Indian food, so she'll make for the perfect guest. <laughs> She's usually over Stone at the Stone Wood Inn. In. I have no idea what that is. Uh, who do I talk to about vinegar and spices? I can talk to the kings of the produce and spices. They run the farms here. But the vinegar has to be special ordered. I'd talk to Javier Mejia. He's the trader who sells a lot of off-world items to the local farmers. Palm vinegar being one of them. And a vindaloo has to have vinegar. It's in the name. And where would I get the meat? Hmm. Well, the meat should be fresh, and I don't necessarily trust the vendors. I think we should bring in a hunter. Try talking to Shonda Harbison. You'll usually find her at the hitching post. She's kind of a living legend around these parts. 
They call her Granny Oakley for a reason. At least I know where that is. Okay, Goodbye. so let's talk to those people. Oh, wrong. Wait, this is the bathroom. Stretch, maybe. Should be down here somewhere. This guy? Wait, let's, let me track the... Uh, perfect recipe. It might not be the biggest selection in town, but our liquor gets a job done. What do you want? Can't you go bother somebody else? Are you Javier Mejia? That depends. Are you going to leave me alone if I tell you? Nope. I'm sorry, I'm here on behalf of Harbajan VS. Harb? Well then, that's different. What does he want? Harpajan wants you to get him some palm vinegar for a vindaloo. Well, I haven't made a run to Paradiso in weeks, so I've only got one bottle left. But if it's for Harb, maybe I'll make an exception. How about this? I'll give you the vinegar and whatever spices you need. But you gotta do a favor for me. Of course. Uh, I'm listening. Cool. Job isn't hard, but it'll take some finesse. So a couple nights ago, security confiscated my goods. They accused me of smuggling contraband. Before they brought me in, though, I stashed something important in the porta potty behind Aggie's. Only problem is, I left the key to the box in the cell. <laughs> uh, which cell were you in? It was one of the cells upstairs. Key should be on the table. Why can't you get the key yourself? The guard and I have history. I used to run with a rough crowd. Was what you might call a uh, delinquent. I'm a different man now, but security, they don't ever let you forget who you were. I have to ask, what's in the stash? It's nothing illegal, <laughs> I promise. Just get the key and bring it back here. I can get the key for you. Cool. The guards usually leave empty cells open, so just walk in, grab it, and bring it back to me. No problem. Security office should be this way. Keep your nose clean. Where? Over there. Tourists? I give them three minutes before they start. Prison. Their Free cell. star collectors got a reputation for being a little lost. That is not so. Uh huh. Uh, let's talk Out to the other my way. two before we get go back to him. Oh, investigate the stash. Never mind, let's go do that. <laughs> Baby formula. 
Can I lock it again? <laughs> Wait, let me read that. Oh, okay. Locals can be especially colorful here. Want a drink? Uh, what's your relationship with Harp, Hajan? I'm not real handy, and Harb's always helped me out when I needed it. I guess you can see I owe him one. I got your key. Cool. Cool. I appreciate you not looking in the box. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, buddy. You can give this to Harp. It's pretty good stuff, so he has no excuses. Tell him I'll be there for the dinner, too. Can't wait to see what he cooks up. Okay. Don't tell anyone about our business. <laughs> I guess he wouldn't have known until he uh, goes and <laughs> tries to unlock it. Then, uh, I guess that would have been closer, but I'll go to this one now. Ready? Seems we've got a little excitement on our hands. Shonda Harbison. Bank robberies, Ashta. Haven't had a quiet day in a month of Mondays. But if you ask me, a little noise ain't a bad thing. Personally, I enjoy the quiet. Not me. I love the excitement, especially at my age. It's good to know the old ticker can still pump. In Aquila, there's always something, but it's all Excuse good me. fun if you ask me. Now, the colony war? That was bad as all get out. But we're past that now. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to talk your ear off seeing as we just met. Tell me what's on your mind. <laughs> Have you ever had a conversation with someone else and then some random person just walks in between the two of you and then stares at the other person's face? <laughs> uh, uh, did you fight in the colony war? Oh, yeah. They tried to tell me I was too old, too slow, as if they knew better. Some of these lieutenants think the sun rises to hear them crow, but they ain't roosters. They're bats, blind as amber in a grain field. So, I challenged the lieutenant to a shooting contest. Said if I win, I'm in. Ooh, you should have seen the look on his face when I put the eye in the bull. <laughs> Ended up serving as a sniper. They called me Granny Oakley because of the way I shot. What do you think of Aquila City? People say Aquila's gone to hell in a handbasket. My question is, where's the handbasket? I picked up everything I see, so it's probably in my inventory. So, if you got the hand basket, does that mean you got the hell in you too? Well, don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Harb thinks you can help me find some meat in for a meal he's cooking. Handy Harby said that? Well, he told you no lies. I know where all the best game is. In fact, I'm hunting a big one right now. You wanna come with? Anything to get away from this person. <laughs> Uh, what kind of animal? Ashta? An Ashta. Of alpha course. of the pack. Got teeth so big and breath so bad it'll blow the sheets off the clothespin. I've nicknamed him Bubba. Why? Bubba. He looks like a Bubba. But for all I know, his mother named him Mortimer. I'll join you. Then let's go get it. I really don't know how this is gonna end. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Sarah Filburn and her brother-in-law, Henry? Let's go kill Bubba. Oh. Hold it. By no. order of Marshal Day, folks no. might be in danger. No. You didn't hear this from me? <laughs> oh, hi, Andresia. Yes. Go away. <laughs> oh, it's super far away. Ah. Might as well bring our new vehicle. Oh, right. She can't come in. Well, see ya, loser. Oh, look at that thing. 
Bubba. Hey, Bubba. It's huge. Let's get a closer look. Rock it to your face. Oh look, he's not hostile. Or he's just running away. See ya. Raw Ashta meat. Oh, caught up. <laughs> that looks like a damn good piece of meat. If Harb can't make magic out of that, he's got no business carrying a wand. What's your opinion of Harb trying to be a chef? If you ask me, it's a waste of talent. Harb's the best handyman I know. But if he wants to throw it all away to be some celebrity chef, I won't say a bad word. It's his life. I've never had Ashta. Should be interesting. Meat's meat at the end of the day. Slather it up in enough sauce and it'll be fine. But I best be heading back to town. I take it Hob wants me to eat this thing he's cooking up to. Yes, it's gonna be an Ashta Vindaloo. That sounds fancy. I'm gonna have to get all gussied up for this one. I got some errands to run, but you tell Hob not to serve that food until I'm at the table. See you there. Alright, let's go back to the last one then. To run her over. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty funny. Oh, uh, whatever, I don't care. And then last one at the Stone Groot Inn. Pardon. Hello. Anandida Devi. Are you my blind date? Yes. Well, if you are, you are terribly late. I don't think this bodes well for the rest of our relationship. In fact, judging by your attire, you'll be lucky to survive the next five minutes. Neon? Neon? They're barely a part Good thing comes to those who wait. Really? The first thing out of your mouth is a cliché. <laughs> this is not going well for you. You can't possibly be the person my sister told me about. Which means I've been stood up. How quaint. Do you mind then, telling me who you actually are? They say everything's legal on Neon. Well, you seem to be taking it well. You sure you're okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm sure whoever this person was, they were intimidated by the mere sight of me and went scurrying back home. It's not the first time, and it certainly won't be the last. It's an ego boost, really. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you who I am. Uh, Harb needs help with the meal. He needs wine and ge and, and guests. Harbajan sent you. In that case, of course I'll attend. On one condition. You sit here and take my date's place. <laughs> you were just like crapping on my outfit. Uh... Sorry, you're not my type. Do you want me to help Harbi or not? <laughs> I don't think you have much of a choice here. Fine. Now, if you don't mind taking a seat here, we can have a little fun. Go on, yes. sit. What? Step into my parlor. I... Okay. Hello. I've already started with the drinks. Would you like a wine or a beer? Water. <laughs> then water you shall have. Sparkling, of course, like my personality. There's a bit of dazzle and a dash of pain in every swallow. Now, tell me about yourself. Are you from around here or just visiting? Starborn. Starborn. Aw, oh, damn it. I'm a free star citizen. Uh. But there's multiple planets in the collective, and a stark difference between the neon lights and the Aquila Mud. That aside, you can live just about anywhere these days. It's more important to have the income to move about. What about a job? What do you do for a living? Can I answer that question with a question? What about I'm not sure how she'll take this. What about you? What do you do for a living? 
I am a food critic, a wine taster, and an adventurer of sorts. I get paid to travel the world, highlight the extravagant, and excoriate the bland. It's really what I was born to do. And now, it's your turn to share. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a constellation. We're explorers. Oh, so you're unemployed. Yes. You're lucky this isn't an actual date, or I'd be walking out the door. Granted, I am rich, so what you do for a living isn't really important. What matters more is that we have similar beliefs and politics. On that note, what's your religious background? Uh, the Great Serpent, of course. No, oh, are you... Damn it. Are you religious? I like to think of myself as a spiritual tourist. I read horoscopes, believe in karma, but only because reality tends to be boring. Uh, I'm not into religion. Neither am I. Although I do like astrology. That's kind of a religion. Well, that's fine for the appetizers. Now, oh, for God. the main course. Romantic history, past relationships, jilted ex-lovers. I want to hear all about it. Ah. Uh, I keep wanting to scroll down, but like, ugh. Uh, you first. Anything interesting your past, about your past relationships? None of them could really keep up with me, I'm afraid. When I travel the galaxy, I don't slow down for anyone. My love life is pretty boring. <laughs> Good. I like inexperienced partners. I can mold you just Holy the way Holy worst date ever. <laughs> You've managed to keep my interest so far. <sighs> Usually, I get dreadfully bored by the appetizers. I almost never make it a dessert. Oh, as it is. I'm enjoying myself, too. Careful. You said this wouldn't be romantic, right? In any case, I've enjoyed our little chat. Thank you for playing along. And if I can be real with you for a second, I really appreciate you doing this for me. I know this wasn't an actual date, but being stood up is an absolutely miserable experience. So much for it being an ego boost. You made it tolerable. <laughs> it was exhausting and then glad it's over. Uh, I'm glad I could help. We should definitely do this again. Next time, my treat. Here's the wine as promised. The earthy tones of the Malbec will balance the pepper and complement the spices. Should pair well with the Vindaloo. I'll do my best to make it to Harbajan's party. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them. I'm an open book. Nope. Noping the hell out of here. A uh, year or two back, I shared a drink with Hello. Ron Hope. That man could drink. Alright. Party time. Ooh, look at you. All dressed up. And cleaning. Although, you're doing a... Sh Terrible job of it. What use do you have for all this? <laughs> oh, you're back. Did you get everything on the list? I got the ingredients and the guests. They should be arriving shortly. Great. I had some issues with the stove, worn out burner element, but I replaced it and rewired the connection. Good as new. You did all that in the time that I was awake. And fix the hot water in Aldwin's apartment and help that oh, other customer you saw earlier. I spent so much time on the stove, I... I didn't have time to clean. Do you think you can help me I can I help cook? you burn the place down. <laughs> uh, when are the guests coming? Soon. I had Shonda tell the others. Although, I suppose if the place isn't ready, I can just tell them to come back in a few hours. Ah, uh, happy to help. You're a lifesaver. Uh, there's some boxes and wrappers scattered along the floor. I can and see that. some mud that I might have tracked into the restroom. Uh, but it's not much, I promise. Now, let's okay. see. Help, clean. Let's go again. Oh, I have these notes on how to cook this thing, but my handwriting is atrocious. 
Oh, I just cut my hand. <laughs> Not a good start. <laughs> yeah. Why is this so much harder than I remember? Is that it for cleaning up? Oh. You don't have the required item. Throw the trash away. Okay. The place is looking amazing. Coming along better than this in the Louis. Anyway. The broom? Oh, and can you set up the rug? It's in the crate in the corner. The rug really ties the room together. I just need one more thing. Ah, here we go. Plates with my broom. Ah, a dinner party. I haven't gone okay. to one in a while. Place is clean and table set. The windowloo is also just about ready. We should sample the food first. That was the plan originally, but honestly, there's no time. The guests. Should be coming any second now. Mm. Oh, my heart feels like a clump of sheets in a washing machine. Oh, and if you want to sneak a taste of the windowloo, I'll leave a sample on the counter. What happens in no time? <laughs> Did I hear someone say windowloo? Oh, I just have a taste. It'll be good to oh, hear what, wait, what all the fuss is about. Smells good anyway. Oh, swap. Friends? No Friends? way. <laughs> Have a seat. Uh, my home is your home. Tonight, we will be having Ashta Vindaloo, paired with a Malbec wine, which Anandita has so graciously brought. I'm plating it now, and I will serve it shortly. Well, I'm holding you to my Nani's standard, so you better not disappoint. Minus three do, health per second I for one a second. second bottle, just in case. Have a little faith in Harvey. He's a talented man. I grew up on Vindaloo, and Harb hasn't touched a cook pot in years. My standards are high and my expectations low. Well, I appreciate the honesty. I'm just ready to eat. Haven't had a bite all day. Of course. I was just about to say, if everyone can be seated, the dish should be ready to serve. Even though I prepared it, since all of us contributed to this meal, in my mind, we cooked it all together. Oh, I'm gonna have fun eating Bubba. I've been hunting that animal for years. <laughs> the ingredients I got are pretty high-end stuff, too. And the wine, of course. Is oh, it's gonna be a disaster if it tastes like crap. Well, before you eat, I just want to thank all of you for coming and sharing in this adventure. Twenty years ago, I decided to give up my dreams of becoming a chef to serve my community. Today, I hope to take my first step towards rediscovering that dream. Bon appetit. Cheers! Yes, go well hard. Hard. Cheers! See you. Oh, Red Harvest Naan. Appreciate so, your discretion and all this. How is it? Uh, please, be as frank and honest as possible. Hmm, I think mine might be lacking some flavor. <laughs> you sure you put enough spice in this thing? Oh, huh. that's odd. <laughs> I followed my old recipe to the tea. Hmm, I don't know then. Anandita, uh, what do you think? You don't want to know my opinion. <laughs> Please? Uh oh. I. I need honest feedback. <sighs> Very well. Forget my Nani's vin. You have a ways to go before this is even takeout quality. Really? There's no way. I'm sorry, Harbajan. It is. Can someone pass you? the salt? Yes. I know where it is. He didn't put it in. Spice. Here you go. 
Hmm. <laughs> it uh, doesn't seem to be going too well. <laughs> Have you tried it? What do you think? Yeah, I lost health. It's literally poison. Poison? <laughs> Is it that bad? <laughs> Uh, work a l at little by little. See where it goes. Oh. If I have this little feel for it, I'm beginning to wonder if this was a mistake. Hob, this dinner was many things, but it was not a mistake. So I have some potential. Hell no. <laughs> no, you don't. But that's not why we're here. I'm not sure I follow. Harvey, your meat might be tough, but you know what's tougher? The canvas tents you made me for camping. I got stuck out in a storm one night with gale force winds. Normal tent would have blown right off, but yours hell. I remember when I was struggling to get by, I couldn't afford to get my apartment fixed. Harbhajan offered to remodel and fix my entire apartment at a cost I could afford. Those savings allowed me to gather enough creds to start my own company. The rest is history. I never told anyone, but Harb's the reason I'm clean. I was in a bad spot at the time. Strung out, doing more chems than I knew I could handle. I don't remember much from that day. Just my mind blurring out. Losing focus. Then I hear this knock on my door. I thought it was death. Turned out it was Harb. Coming to fix the heater. He called a medic and stayed with me the whole time. Even through my rehab, he'd stop by and make sure I was okay. I was just doing what anyone would in my position. No, what you did for me was more than anyone had ever done. Now I'm clean. I met the love of my life and got a little one on the way. Hence the baby formula. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say a damn thing. We're all just thankful for you, Harb. Exactly. So you're a shit cook. Who cares? Half the chefs in New Atlantis can lay claim to that title. <laughs> what matters is that you're a wonderful person and a friend. Amen to that. And you're a genius with a wrench. Fix me and my heater. Didn't even charge. Oh, you guys. And this isn't to say you can't get better. Work on it. Cook every day if you like. The results will show. Exactly. Thank you. It means a lot to hear you all say that. It's funny. I very much wanted this dinner to go well. And it has. But... Not for the reasons I expected. A and yes, I'll keep at it. I don't know if anything will come of it, but no matter where this journey takes me, I'm grateful for all of you. Of course, there is one small matter we still need to address. I brought you all here. You all must be starved and <laughs> there's nothing to eat. We have plenty of wine and good company. Why don't we just drink? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. A toast to the best handyman in all of the I mean, I'd still eat the food. It's just like to planned. Harp. <laughs> to Harp. To Harp. To Harp. I feel bad for Harp, but you'll get over this. Yeah, I didn't think it was right to uh, mess with his food. Harp. So... I guess I'm not cut up to be a chef after all. It's kind of a relief, actually. I don't have to look back wondering. Yeah, that's if, another way to look at it. But even if I had the talent for it, I'm happy with the choice I made. To have friends like these, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Are you going to continue working on your cooking skills? Yes. In hindsight, it was foolish to think I could become a world-class chef in a day. But knowing I'm still a novice, now I can start again from the beginning without any pressure.
It's good to live life without regrets. And right now, I have none. I'm going to continue cooking with a new goal in mind. I don't care anymore about becoming a world-class chef. <laughs> what I want is to make a vindaloo my friends will enjoy. When that day comes, I want you to be there as well. Because when I think of friends, I count you among them. I feel bad for Hawk, but you'll get over this. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. Wait. Why do I have the baby formula? What? <laughs> oh. Was this in Harp's place? Huh. Chef head wrap. Chef uniform. Nice. Thank you again for all that you've okay, done. Okay, that's all you have to say. I feel bad for harm, but you'll get over this. You know, I've eaten worse. I might just take some of this home with me. Yeah. Sorry if I hope Harb doesn't take this too personally. Okay, that's pretty much it for this quest. So I guess it's uh, you can end this quest in a couple of ways. You could you could mess with the food. I'm not sure if that would have made any difference. Uh, I did feel right to mess with this food and give him false hopes and kind of lie to everyone. But at least now he knows that he kind of chose the right path and doesn't have any regrets so I think this is a pretty good ending and it's not like he has to give up on like his day job he just has a new hobby that he has to work on so yeah this was the perfect recipe a short little comedic world building quest that you can download for free from the creation store so check it out for yourself if you want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye sorry if I overshared back there didn't mean to. Oh, by the way, check this out. We're gonna steal some food. We're gonna steal gonna a bunch of stuff here as well. Oh, whoops. I feel bad for Hob, but you'll get over this. Gonna steal this, gonna steal this, gonna steal this. And then he should start shooting me. <laughs> this is the guy that considers me to be a friend. Oh. Oh, and these guys aren't uh, essential, so... Bye, Harp. <laughs> I just murdered the dinner party. <laughs> oh, this guy has a baby on the way. They all met a miserable end. Had some terrible food and then got shot in the face. Oh, man. <laughs> terrible person. I'm not gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna reload it. <laughs> There's no way. I'm sorry, Harvadon. It is. Can someone pass the salt? Don't worry, Harb. I'll silence the critics. You're welcome. <laughs> So it seems like he's still aggro. I actually waited for three full days and left and went back to New Atlantis and then back to Akil City and he's still aggro. Uh, so I guess maybe he's just permanently aggro. Man, some people. That's what I get for being a good friend. <laughs>